First of all, small cell lung cancer is one of the more difficult forms of lung cancer we diagnose. It's a very aggressive disease, and unfortunately, we've not been able to come up with um, newer treatments for this uh, form of lung cancer for quite some time. The introduction of immunotherapy in combination with chemo has been the, the most exciting advance we've made in this area. So um, we are always uh, looking for better treatment options for our patients with the diagnosis of small cell. So this particular uh, data that I'm presenting uh, is around uh, a, a new form of a immunotherapy drug called a, a, a bite or a bi-specific T-cell engager. Uh, this is basically a drug that engages the immune system and the tumor by binding a tumor antigen, CD3, on, a, on the surface of a T-cell and brings them basically in close proximity, hoping that we can get an immune activation. Um, it is an approach that um, uh, really hasn't been tested quite as much in, in the world of uh, lung cancer, but now we're beginning to see more and more drugs with these bispecific uh, uh, modality. Um, and uh, the data is very promising. It is still uh, relatively early in the course of development of this particular drug, and we still need to sort of learn um, how best to use the drug and what setting. And also the key thing is going to be whether we can combine the drug with other agents that can make the clinical efficacy even better than what it is now. And um, uh, in any cancer, especially uh, lung cancer, we worry also about the side effects and toxicities of the drugs that we're using. So we are learning that the toxicities of this agent from a, from a physician point of view is more manageable. Obviously, from a patient point of view, we have to pay attention to um, even low levels of toxicities that drugs can cause. But overall, it appears that um, most of our patients have, uh, again, ma very manageable side effects from the drug. So, so far, this looks good. Uh, obviously, as I said, we need uh, additional um, uh, information, additional studies to really pinpoint how best to use this particular drug.